This election matters to me because so much is at stake. Women's lives are at risk without Roe. Dreamers' lives are at risk without DACA. Mm -hmm. uh, black lives are at risk without policy that ensures that they matter. Immigrant children's lives are at risk without being with their families. Yeah. Uh, so we're really in a time uh, where it's it's really scary. There's a, there's a lot there's a lot at stake. Um, you know, Mer American lives are at, at risk without the Affordable Care Act. The list goes on and on. I can't remember a time when so much is at stake. And I think the most important thing I could say on the eve of the election, and people have, have heard me say this numerous times, but in case someone hasn't heard me say it, I want to say it again. Voting is how we protect each other. Voting, if you could take yourself out of it and say, I'm going to vote to protect my neighbor, to protect my brother, to protect my sister, mm -hmm. to protect all of those that need protection that don't even know that they need protection. Take yourself out of it. Go vote for someone you love. Go vote for something you care about. Yeah. Um, and protect one another. And that's what this election comes down to for me. Yeah. You know, I've been politically active since 2000. And mm -hmm. in 2000, we sort of faced not similar, but also outrageous, an outrageous outcome, which was when Gore lost yeah. the election. And that sort of ignited in me um, a sense of political uh, responsibility that I felt that I had mm -hmm. to sort of uphold having a platform that I had. Um, it never occurred to me that that being a celebrity meant that I couldn't have a political ideology. It actually meant to me that I had to have more of a political ideology mm -hmm. because I, I, I take my platform very, very seriously. In it. And, and so I've been, you know, for, for 20 years driving people to the polls and, and doing really? this. It's a busy day, but to me driving people to, to the polls is so hopeful. It not only keeps me not glued to the TV <laughs> and not vomiting in the toilet, but it also, I get to connect with people and ask them, you know, what, did, what does it mean to you to not only be able to vote, but what are the issues in your district that are getting you out to the polls today? And that's just such a special thing to be able to do. And yeah. uh, I, I cherish that that so much. So I'm very excited. Since 2016, what, what were my options, my yeah. options were either to stay in the fetal position for two years <laughs> um, under the covers with the lights off or to actually get out there and feel like I'm actively making a difference. Yeah. So so I chose to, to sort of get out there and it's not anything unlike I've normally done. It just feels a lot more intensive because yeah. the stakes are so much higher. Yeah. To me, I have to be able to sleep with myself at night and yeah. look, be, look at myself in the mirror and, and know that all the hard work in my acting career actually leads to something fulfilling, which to me is to be able to help people yeah. and to live a life of service. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.